Hi, my name is Nancy Albert from the Cleveland Clinic, and I'm here to showcase my colleague's innovation. Her name is Jane Hartman, and the name of the innovation is Highline. Highline is a device that helps lift up IV tubing off the floor when you have a scenario in intensive care with isolation, and your goal is to protect or to save PPE, and you have your pumps outside the door. So you can see an example of the high line over here. It includes a stem with a little O-ring at the top to hang off of a wall or a ceiling hook. It includes a clear uh, stem going down with little uh, bridges on it to hold these cradles. And each cradle holds a, a set of IV tubing. You can use multiple high lines along a wall to get to the patient or you could have multiple high lines hanging from a ceiling to get outside of the room, depending on how much tubing you have and how far away the bed is from the door. In our example today, we have two, three high lines hanging to get from the door to the patient's bed. And we have five IV tubings going on pumps outside of the door. So the high line has two um, components. It has a stem which has which is 10 inches long and has little cones on it to keep the cradles in place. Each cradle has three grabbers to hold onto the IV tubing. The hole in the middle of the cradle is wide enough to allow smooth movement of the IV tubing once it's sitting in the cradle. Each cradle has a hole on the outer edge to insert through the stem. And so this takes only a few minutes to insert. The other thing you'll notice is there's five different colors of the cradle. So if you want one IV line to have all yellow cradles so that you can, in report, share with the nurse the yellow cradle holds an antibiotic, the blue cradle holds a vasoactive drip, the red cradle holds some other agent or solution, it'll be easy for nurses and other healthcare providers to follow the track of the tubing to the patient since the tubing is so long. So to get started, you would just place your O-ring at the top of the stem on a hook. Again, the hook can come off of a ceiling or it can come off of a wall. And then you would just thread, like a knitting needle, the cradle into the stem. And as it goes over each one of the cones, there's a little bit of tension, but you could put up to eight cradles per stem. So I'm just going to put these on very quickly. There's no right or wrong way to put the cradle on. There's no upside down or right side up. It could go either way. So I've got three up here already within under a minute, and I can start putting my uh, tubing through the cradles now. So to attach the tubing to the cradle, you simply start on whichever end you're comfortable with, go up, down, and up. Or you may have one that starts at the bottom, goes up and down. Again, there's no right or wrong direction for each of the cradles. So we mentioned earlier that the high line can come off of a ceiling or off of a wall. You would probably want to use the wall methodology if your ICU door closes close to the sidewall. In some ICUs, the door closes in the middle. If the door closes in the middle, you don't want the tubing to be draping from the middle of the room like a circus high wire to the middle of the door. And so to make that work, we would use a hook off the ceiling so that the high line could literally be above the heads of the nurses and other healthcare providers in the room. In our example, our door comes close to a sidewall. So we have, and there's a little bit of uh, rubber or furring on the wall. And so the lines are going right through that rubber or furring. If this was a really tight door, we'd have to go on the other side where the door actually opens and leave a very slight one quarter inch or one eighth inch opening so that the tubings can go through the door. 
I know in some ICUs, nurses are putting their tubing on the floor and having the tubing going under the door. We all know that's not very sanitary, and it's a risk for nurses as well for fall hazards. So that is one of the reasons and the benefits of using the High Line versus using the methodology many nurses have been using up till now. If you're interested in learning more about the High Line, please contact Brian Nowicki at Cleveland Clinic Innovations.